Shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. I hope you all doing well. Let's continue with the reading of Joshua chapter 14. But before I continue with the lesson, I would like to give all glory to the Almighty God of Israel and His beloved Son, Christ the Messiah. Now, <clears throat> in chapter 14, uh, in this chapter, um, in this chapter, we, 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 I'm going to read a little bit about how uh, <clears throat> how they how they're going to divide the land by lot and and about the 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 request of Caleb, okay? The request of Caleb, okay. First <clears throat> um, one, and these are the countries which the children of Israel inherit in the land of Canaan which Eliezer the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distribute for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half tribes. So these, uh, they have, they divided the land uh, by, um, um, how how can I say this? Because all all this um, so the way how they divided the land was based on what the Most High told them, because you know the Most High he know about everything. The Most High know about the future. He know which of the tribe will be, be be grow bigger or which tribes you know will multiply more than others. So the Most High he know all about that. Okay, so. He give them just what they needed, what what they need, what 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 he thinks is better for them. It is the most I would divide the land, but you just use Moses and Joshua, you know, you know, to do his to to, to fulfill his will. Okay. Um, three, for the, for Moses have had given the inheritance of of two tribes and and a half tribe on the other side, Jordan. But unto the Levite, he gave none inheritance among them. And just like I have explained in uh, my in my previous lesson, in, uh, in I believe chapter uh, Joshua chapter thirteen, about how the Levite now back then the Levite didn't inherit land, but in the future they will inherit. They will have their own gates. Okay, according to the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter forty-eight, and this it is the same one as. Uh, Revelation chapter 20, 21. So the Levites going to have their own gates in the future. Okay, they're going to inherit uh, land, lands just like all these other tribes. Okay, um, verse four. For the children of Joseph <coughs> were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore, they give no part unto the Levite in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs. Sub for their cattle and for their sub substance, as the Lord commanded Moses. So the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. So once again, just, it was mo the Most High who commanded Moses to do it just like it happened, to divide the land just, just like we ha I have read, okay? <clears throat> Verse 6, Then the children of Ju Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Canaanite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and, and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word against again as it was in mine heart his mind so uh, uh caleb he wasn't a very young man uh, like he maybe a teenage sometimes they will show his show in these cartoon movies you know about um about uh the the fall of jericho or how the israelites spied the land on youtube they have all these cartoon things and that it's look like caleb and uh, and joshua and all those other israelites they were like Teenage, uh, um, teenage uh, children. They was like young children, but this day was they was adult people. Okay, he was forty years old. Okay, he was forty years old. That's why the Most High 
didn't spare those one because they was adult they they knew what they was doing okay um okay eight nevertheless my my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt but i will really follow the lord my god and when you go back to the book of numbers chapter 14 you will see how how uh 10 of the tribe uh 10 israelite uh because the most high choose uh from every tribe one israelite and 10 of them came with bad report and only only caleb and um only caleb of the tribe of judah and joshua of the tr of the tribe of i believe benjamin i'm not sure only these two came with a uh, uh, you know a good report so because of those other israelite you know uh they uh they they did uh, they didn't encourage the israelite because of them the israelites started to curse in the most high and they was you know so you can go and read them read that story in the book of numbers chapter 14 okay so but he was he was encouraged the israelite and you can go and read it in numbers chapter 13 i believe and as well numbers chapter 14 9 and moses swear on on that day saying surely the land that the land where whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thy inheritance and thy children forever because thou hast wholly followed the lord the, my god and now behold the lord had kept me alive as he said these forty and five years these forty and five years even since the lord speak this word unto moses while the children of israel wander in the wilderness and now i am i am this day four score and five years old so he was 80 85 years old okay as yet i am a strong okay yet as yet i am as strong this day as i was in the day that moses sent me as my strength was then even so is my strength now for war for war both to go out and to come in so he didn't lose his strength that he has back then he was he was he was still strong okay and it's not like what you're seeing right now in the, in 2023 uh, 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 80, a 85 years old uh, man is he he is anything but uh, but but a strong person okay is he is anything but strong person but in those days he was 85 years and he was he, he was very strong and had the same strength that he has back then that he has when he was 40 years old okay but now you don't see it but in the future all these things we will you know doesn't matter how how many years become you will still the same the same strength that you has you will still have okay <clears throat> um okay 12 now therefore give me this mountain where of the lord speak in the in that day for thou heardest in that day how the anakims Anna, anakims <clears throat> were there and that the cities were great and fenced if if so be if so be the lord will be with me then i shall be able to drive them out as the lord said and joshua bless him and give unto caleb the son of jephanan Jeff, jephanan Jephne, hebron for an inheritance hebron therefore became the inheritance of caleb the son of jephanan the canaanite unto this day because that he wholly allow that because that he wholly follow the lord god of israel and the most high bless him he have inherited his uh this he have inherited his land okay because he have endured till the end okay he didn't stop by the way but he have endured till the end and that's why the most high going to reward him he has he have he he, he he was faithful till the end and that's how and that's the mindset that all the israelite must have in this walk you have to you must be faithful till the, till the end these the uh, caleb and all these other israelite who have inherited the land it wasn't easy for them it wasn't easy to fight all these giants you know all these strong and, and tall people and they, they went through a hell but he he stayed faithful till the end it wasn't easy 
but one thing they had is the most high the most high was their uh was their fence their great fence and and they they uh, uh um their strong city uh, and their and their strength and their and their weapons and you know all those things that was the most high and they lean on him that's why he endured till the end okay he wasn't lean on his own understanding let's go to um let's go to the book of first corinthians chapter 9 and i'm going to read it from the nlt bible okay in this world israelite if you don't endure till the end you will not inherit nothing the most high will not pay you for all those hard work all those things that you have been through the most high will not he, the most high will not uh he will not um the most high will not how do you say this um uh i forgot the name okay so the most high he will not go into the world you if you don't endure till the end because if you didn't endure that means you have failed okay and if you fail that's me you are on the side of Satan, and that's why he's not going to reward you if you don't finish this thing. Let's go first to the uh, first uh, first Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-four through twenty-seven. And once again, I'm going to read this from the NLT Bible. Okay. Okay. It says, "Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize." So run to win, just like Caleb. He did run to win, okay? When he was, each, every time he, he, he went to war, he, he went to war for a purpose. Of course, he was, he had faith in the Most High, but he went to war like, you know, I, I will fight for the Most High and the, so that the Most High, you know, can bless me, okay? Because we all doing this for, you know, because we all want this in, uh, this eternity life. We all want to be blessed in the kingdom. That's why we do all this, okay? Um, okay. Okay, to win. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it they do it to win a prize that will fade away. And this this are the this worldly people, okay? But we do it for an internal prize. We do this for the most high. We do this when when you when when you when you endure till the end, the most high going to reward you with this internal body, with this internal life, with this uh with this uh incorruptible body, okay? And um so I run with purpose in every step. I am not just a shadow boxing. I discipline my body like I, like an athlete, training it to do what it showed. Otherwise, I feel I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Okay, so we like you know, he he says I dis I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should be. And how we do that by reading this gospel by by reading the scriptures. That's how you discipline yourself. Okay, if you don't read in the scriptures, it's all right. Uh, you're not going to be, you know, you will not endure till the end because this is, this is our food. This is our spiritual food. This is our medicine. Okay. And when, when you read it, it's still, it stay in your mind. So this is the one going to help you to endure. And that's how you're going to be able to inherit, um, wish that the most I have for you in the future. But if you don't, you're not going to inherit nothing. Let's go to the book of, um, Second Timothy, Timothy, chapter four, verse seven. Verse seven. Oh yeah, no seven. Seven, seven. Okay, Second Timothy, chapter four, verse six through eight. As for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering to God. The time of my death is near. So when you walk in this thing, you have you must have that mindset that doesn't matter uh, doesn't matter what will happen in the future. You going to you have to stay you you must stay you must you must stay faithful unto death. Okay, you will die for this gospel. That's that's this this must be your mindset. And how by when by reading this by by reading the book by reading the Bible only when you read you this Bible. When you read it, uh, you feel you you you, uh, you you feed yourself with the scriptures, and it gives you more encourage, 
and you know about everything and it's it's um it's uh it's built up your faith as well okay seven i have fought the good fight i have finished the race and i have remained faithful so you must remain faithful you have to finish your race just like caleb have finished his race and he have have, have he he have uh, remained faithful till the end and that's why the most i did bless him with that land okay and now the prize awaits me the crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge will give me on the day of his return and the prize is not just me the prize is not just for me but for all who ugly ugly look forward to his appearing so when you stay faithful this is going to be your price the most are going to reward you he's going to reward you that's why you must stay faithful and let's go to the last one and this one i'm going to read it from the um, yeah the kjv bible of the king james version revelation chapter 7 revelation chapter 2 verse 17 and then um 25 through 28 he said he had he that had an ear let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches to him that overcome i will give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written which no man knows saying he that receive it 25 but that which ye have already hold fast till i come and he that overcome and keep my works unto the end to him i will give power over the nation and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessel of a potter shall they be broken in shepherds even as i receive of my father and i will give him the morning star he that had ear let him hear let him hear <coughs> what the spirit said unto the churches <coughs> so israelite if you don't remain faithful till the end you will not inherit nothing you will go to the lake of fire okay you will go to the lake okay it's just like a, a Caleb, Caleb state he remained faithful unto the Most High till the end. Okay, and he know just like we all doing this because we want we want this we want this internal life. Okay, every each every one of us. Uh, let me say me. I'm doing this because I believe in the Scripture. I believe in the Most High, and I want I want internal life. I want to live in peace. I want to live it with in peace among my people among the god of israel and i want you know i want live in an earth where there is peace okay okay where there is peace in each every nation okay that's why i'm doing this for because i believe in the scriptures i won't be living that like a royal in the future i want that so that's why me i'm doing this you see so if you have if you have made up your mind you know why you're doing this you're going to endure till the end okay with the grace of the most high of course so let's go back to joshua chapter 14. let's finish it okay and okay F verse 15 and the name of hebron was kirya kiryat kiryatba kiryat arba which arba was a great man among the anakims and the land had rest from war okay now um i'm just going to do um joshua 14 today and hopefully um next week or this week i will go to the following chapter okay chapter 16. you know chapter 15 okay so israelite this was the lesson of today and i hope you have learned something out of this lesson shalom <laughs>